audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now Cancer, I also do your weekly uh, you versus them reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Cancer, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, uh, Cancer. I almost called you tarot. Uh, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. That's how I keep up with y'all, so leave the comments. And if you find a card that resonates, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Cancer, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Cancer, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, some food for thought, something to consider as you go throughout your week. It's your life to live, not mine. I'm not here to make a decision in your life at all, I promise you. So, all that being said, Cancer, let's start getting into your reading shall we? So, mm. <laughs> I'm looking at this overall energy, Cancer, now, and we have the Ace of Coins with the Four of Swords. Ooh, Cancer, you're in your head about something, you're in your head, and almost like a, dare I say like your self-worth, or feeling like a, it's almost as if you feel like you don't provide enough, or you feel as if um, you don't do enough right? There's like this feeling of where it's just like, you feel bad when you take a break, or you feel bad when you're not putting your energy into something. Um, it's kind of toxic. So let's just say, for example, as like, you've been trying to lose some weight, you want to get healthier cancer. Um, this is like the energy of where it's just like, if you're not, if you don't work out for a single day, or if you actually just enjoy some food for a day, like you get in your head about it, you get frustrated, you start beating yourself up about it. And it's just not, I mean, obviously you don't need me to tell you cancer. That's not healthy to do. Um, also, this could be a sense of where it's like you want to communicate with somebody as like the Ace of Coins talking about you want you extending some communication out to somebody, but you're in your head about it. You're in your feelings about it and you don't. Or if you did, then that interaction caused you this four swords where you're just in your feelings. Regardless of what it is, Cancer, I just see this as a... Um, you're just in overall in your feelings this week. So uh, what can we do to remedy that? Let's see what insight that we can get from tarot. Now, Cancer, I'm going to start out doing a row for your career now, Cancer. And then after that, we'll get into your social interactions and then um, general messages. But let's start with career for you. The card that came flying out for you, Cancer, is the Ten of Wands for your career. So definitely there is like some type of baggage that you're carrying in terms of your career. There is like this, I dare I, like it's, it feels almost like, hmm. How we would play this out, Cancer, before you even pull clarifiers, because clarifiers are going to just like really hone in on the message. But I kind of would take this as from before where, um, Maybe you're like, you're stressed out about not making enough money or you're stressed out about just like the stability of your job or of your business in the first place, Cancer. There is just like this sense of the burdens that you're carrying or the baggage that you're carrying in regards to your uh, work situation, it is taking a toll on you in some type of way. So let's start getting some clarifiers now, Cancer, to start making sense of this. We have the Page of Swords, Eight of Swords coming out for you. I need that. And then the Sun card coming out. And now the back of the deck energy. <laughs> Yours, Cancer, is oddly like similar to Cancer's in the sense that... Or similar to Cancer's. Similar to <laughs> Scorpio's in that the same cards, but in just different decks, which is just really interesting to me. Um... So, the clarifiers we pulled for your Ten of Wands in terms of your career, Cancer, is the um, Page of Swords card. So, some type of, again, talking about communication. So, maybe in type of, in the workplace, someone's been bothering you, um, and you just wanted to communicate it, and you just haven't, and it's been weighing on you. Or perhaps we'll go along with the narrative of, like, you need to make more money, or there's just, like, this sense of where it's just, like, some type of shift in your job that you want to communicate, right, with this page of swords. 
Eight of Swords comes in aware of what's stopping you, right? So it's just like you're almost putting yourself in this Four of Swords energy where you're just in your feelings, where you're feeling like this resentment towards your work um, because of something that you want to talk, an issue that you want to vocalize with this Ten of Wands, this being the issue. You want to vocalize it, but you don't because Eight of Swords, because you get in your own head about it, because maybe you think that um, if you ask for that raise, you're just going to get fired and punished instead. Maybe if you think that you ask for that, even that time off, right? Um, whatever it is, it just shows to me, like, you just don't want to speak up for your desires in terms of your workplace. Um, or if this is for, like, my self-employed cancers as well, it, I would see this more so as with this Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of, Ten of Wands. I would see this as, like, the scared about it's almost like if you're self-employed cancer you are you're like things are just stacking up for you i don't know if it's like your to-do list is just stacking up or what um or if just like a lot of like uh unexpected uh charges or like uh expenses coming into your life uh, we do have a sun card coming in as well for you overall with this. And we, I feel like this is the sun card is paired with this Knight of Wands, of where it's just like, you want to go forward, Cancer. You want to go forward in terms of your career, right? You want to speak your truth, right? But you want, in, like, you want this happiness. You want things to work out in terms of your workplace. But it's just like, what are we going to have to do to get to this sun? Because you're not going to see this sun with this Eight of Swords energy. You're looking in the mirror. In fact, you're not even looking in the mirror because your eyes are blocked off, right? You, Your intention is to have things work out, but it's just like, maybe you're just scared of it not panning out in the way that you would want it to, so you're not taking matters into your own hands. I do feel called to pull an animal card for you, Cancer. Don't tell anyone else I did this for you. I didn't do it for any of the other signs. We pulled the White Raven Spirit, 66 equaling to 12. Uh, that would be three. So write three down for numerology cancer. We have the White Raven Spirit, trust in magic. Now, when it comes to career, honey, like this is the last card you want to see, right? When it comes to your money, it's just like the last thing you want to hear about. It's just like, oh, trust, I got it, right? And it's just like that trust does not pay the bills, honey, right? I get that. And apparently I can't even hold it. I get that, but it's almost like, dare I say, uh, Cancer, you need to just have trust in that things will work out. I feel like there's just like, especially with the, all these sword cards, you're just really in your head, Cancer. You're really in your head about things not working out in the way that you would hope. And so it's because of this, you just don't try anything. You don't go out and do anything. You have the passions for it, right? With this Knight of Wands, you really want to do stuff, but you just don't do it. Um, so you just have like this constant urge, but then you just sabotage yourself and you just choose to stay in the same place. Right? So enough of that. Let's start getting into your social interactions now, Cancer. I pulled the Empress card for you. Um, so you, it seems, om I mean, this is kind of starting to build up to be a the overall theme for you, Cancer, of just communication, which I guess I did hint at with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, Empress card talks about growth. Empress card is that card of realizing your self-worth as well. Now, I'm going to just pull some clarifiers now because the Empress could just really go in so many different ways for social interactions that I feel like it's just necessary to have clarifiers before I go into too long of a spiel. Mm, okay. So, Empress card. I... The clarifiers I pulled were Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, and then Eight of Cups cancer and then i have five of wands as the back of the deck energy it almost is like you're finally realizing your self-worth cancer maybe it's through some type of conflict dare i say it is maybe like you had a fight recently with somebody and it's just like wait a minute i don't deserve to be treated that way maybe it's even in relation to your workplace cancer maybe you're just realizing you don't like how your boss is treating you or like considering you and not your hours or what have you and you're just in this place now of what should you do now Six of Cups lets me know of, um, it lets me know that this is something that's been going on for a while, whether it's just like this row is just in honing in on just one specific energy, one person, this person, this energy seems to be something that you've had for a while. You have history essentially with the Six of Cups with this. And so 
it almost makes sense that you're having this empress moment because it's like this is a long buildup for this to happen for you cancer i say this because it's like ten of swords eight of cups i do see you walking away from something you're walking away from misbehavior mistreatment of some type with this ten of swords this is letting me know of some type of pain come from the outside coming to you where it's just like something from the outside of um at from outside events causing you some type of pain so like maybe like a you know like some type of uh, social situation where it's just like pure just like straight up neglect they're not appreciating you they're taking you for granted cancer eight of cups is where it's just like you realize that you need to go on to better bigger and better things even if you are happy even if you have to be alone for a little while. You realize with this Eight of Cups that you have to go to bigger and better waters and you have to believe that they're bigger and better waters. Something I also want to point out too is notice how you're walking towards the sun. Now granted, Cancer, I know this is it's a desert card, so the sun's inevitable, but we have the sun card in your work situation as well. Where did it, you know, and I was talking about you want to go to the sun, right? So again, same theme when it comes to your social. You want to go to the sun. The sun card is the best card in the deck. It's just like that happy outcome, just overall abundance and just happiness, right? You want that. And so I feel like you, with this Empress card, you're almost realizing that if you really want the sun moment, you're going to have to walk away from something that you have a history with, you know. You're going to have to walk away from something that it may kind of suck, you know. Interesting. Let me know what that is about, Cancer. I'd love to hear about that. Um, let's get into your general messages now, Cancer. Let's see what's up with that. <laughs> Cancer. So, Six of Cups is coming out for you again. And I always want to say, Cancer, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, your recent readings last week, I want to say, for both you versus them and your general for last week, both covered Six of Cups as well. So, again, when you, it's this seems to be spirits honing in on a message from, like, someone from your past. Or maybe you're just looking back on this. No, I feel like you're talking about, it's talking about someone from the past. Or not someone from the past. It's someone that you've had, like, a long history with. Um, but let's pull some clarifiers. Why did Spirit choose the need to bring up the Six of Cups again for you? I really enjoy, like, just your reading in general and the dynamic of the cards. I wish you could just see the cards in the table as well, Cancer, but it's just is the art, like, how everything is just coinciding is really beautiful. So that is something I just want to say, is when I see, because I use so many decks, Cancer, I can, like... <laughs> it sounds so corny and cheesy, right? But I can, like, there's like an energy to it. That it's, a different, it's a feel to it. And so when I see all these cards, like, aligning in such a way, it really lets me know Spirit's really um, with you at this time. And if so, if Spirit is so pr strong, so present in your life at this point, it really is letting me know this is like a pivotal week for you. It's like, what decision, whatever decision you choose to make in regards to your Six of Cups, Honey, it's going to be the game changer for you. And the Page of Wands confirms that. Page of Wands talks about that new beginning going forward into something. Four of Cups in this Four of Pentacles is, I feel like, what it is you're moving on from. For a lot of you Cancers, and I say this with love, honey, um, it seems almost like with this energy, you've been in like a rut for a while. You haven't really done anything for a while. There hasn't been forward motion, you, you know, and that's why you're getting this page of wands. It's just like, you need to have just like a fresh new start because your approach right now, it ain't doing nothing, honey. You're just getting, you're just, all these <laughs> cards are just where you're just like sitting. Like all these fours, you're just like no movement at all. You have all these great and grand desires of what it is that you want for yourself, but you're not going out and getting it. Um, Four of Cups and Four of Pentacles. It is just, you do have to shift. I do like feel like with this Four of Cups, like you kind of have to stop making it work with this. Like, I know this is Three Cups of Cancer, so you don't need to correct me. <laughs> but I feel like you need to stop looking at this Six of Cups here, this person, whatever it is, whatever this energy is from the past. And you start shifting your view to this over here where the rainbow is going into the cup, which would be your ace of, or page of wands into a new direction. I don't feel like you want, a lot of you uh, cancers want to do this. And maybe that's why there's been such a hesitation for you to commit to this cancer because it's like there's such a seemingly long history with you in this uh, 
Six of Cups, energy. And maybe you're afraid of it not panning out, right? Four of Pentacles, again, I do call this the sitting duck energy, but also it is talking about like those investments. You look at this individual, she's holding her, pur uh, her purse closely to her because she doesn't want to um, make the wrong investment, to give, give her Pentacles out to things that just are not going to give her that payout, right? You know, it's similar with this Ace of Coins, you're really just holding on to your coin. <laughs> Um, holding on to your communication, holding on to just, you just, it's almost very much so like, I want to say like two of swords energy where you just really closed off. Uh, did we do back of the deck? Ten of wands comes in for you. Didn't we get ten of wands? But yes, honey, we did. All of these cards are, cards are following you. <laughs> what was I saying before, Cancer? When these cards are just so like an alignment, like spirits strongly present for you. Um, so take that as you will. If you, if you have any type of spiritual inclination, Cancer, I really do suggest for you to, um, listen to your intuition because that's how spirit will communicate with you, but consider connecting to your spirit guides or your archangels. Like truly, it feels like for spirit to be this strong in your life right now, one, very pivotal week for you, but two, they're trying to help you in some type of way. Five of Pentacles, getting you out of this energy. Like, yeah, I feel like we're trying to get you out, Cancer, of this energy of like, um, the standstill of this rut and really trying to get you forward into this motion, trying to get you outside into get you some sunlight, right? Get out of your room, cancer. <laughs> um, page of pentacles. You know, pages are following you as well. Um, communication is this is the representation of communication, but I feel like this page of pentacles more so just comes out as emphasizing new beginnings because that's what pages represents in tarot is new beginnings of some sort. Um, but yeah, Cancer, overall, I like this reading. Let me know what steps we're going to take this week to uh, really overcome the Six of Cups energy. And let me know what the Six of Cups energy is if you feel comfortable sharing, Cancer. But um, yeah, that's the cards that I have for you, Cancer. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give me a like and subscribe and share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Cancer, bye.